Hello children. Welcome to another radio learning program for Primary 4 Science. This is one of the radio programs produced by Rwanda Education Board in partnership with Inspire, Educate and Empower Rwanda, IEE. My name is Teacher Gerald. I will be teaching Primary 4 Science. Children, as always, get your pens and notebooks ready for taking notes, doing exercises, and homework that you'll be given. At the same time, get closer to your radio, from which you are going to pay keen attention, as well as doing radio learning activities. Good. Dear parents and guardians, I would like to continue reminding you to be close to the children and follow up what they are doing and support them where necessary. Great. Now, children, I want us to stand up to have a warm-up song before we start learning. I will sing the song once as you listen. It is a simple song that we have been singing. Then you will join me to sing for the third time on, and the second time too. Is that correct? Good. Now, the song goes. And I would love you to move around the room as you show joy. So you walk around. And then you show that you are joy. You are enjoying being here. You are enjoying being alive today. So I am going to sing. I have got joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Down in my heart. Down in my heart. I have got joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Down in my heart today. Okay, children. You will join me as we sing for the second time and the third time. Is that fine? Good. Let's sing. I have got joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Down in my heart. Down in my heart, I have got joy, 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 down in my heart, down in my heart today. Again. I have got joy, 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 down in my heart, down in my heart, down in my heart. I have got joy, 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 down in my heart. Down in my heart today. Oh, that is great. That is great. Now, children, can you remember what we learned about last time? Can you remember what we learned about last time? Perfect. Last time, we learned about parts of the eyes, and their functions. Is that right? Good. We also talked about the layers of the eye. Can you mention the layers and a brief of their functions? Can you mention the layers of the eye and a brief of their functions? Good. The layers of the eye which we talked about are the outer layer. Number one, the outer layer. And this layer contains the sclera and the cornea. And this is the white part of an eye. It is curved, transparent, circular coat in front of the eyeball. The second one was the middle layer, which is the vascular layer. It is the layer that contains the iris, ciliary body, and choroid. 
Is that correct? Good. We also mentioned the inner layer. A layer that is called the retina. Is that correct, friends? Wow, wow. Today, we are going to talk about the defects of eyes and their corrections. The defects of eyes and their corrections. Can you write that one down? Defects. D E F E C T S. Defects. Defects of eyes and their corrections. Defects means something that makes you not perform something effectively. Something that makes you fail to do something appropriately. That one is a defect. That is a defect. Even if a vehicle or a car cannot do something, cannot move effectively because of something, then that one is a defect. Are we clear? Wow. Now, defects of eyes and their corrections. There are many types of eye defects. We will mention some. Now, these are number one, short-sightedness or myopia. Short-sightedness or myopia. I'm spelling the whole of it. S H O R T hyphen sightedness. S I G H T E D N E double S short sightedness in bracket myopia M Y O P I A myopia good short sightedness or myopia when you can see nearby objects very well but cannot see objects well, that are far away, that is called myopia. Do you get that right? It is a situation when you can see things that are nearer to you better and clearly. But those things that are a bit far away from you, you may not be able to see them clearly. Can you look at the two, the two diagrams on page 249? Look at the two diagrams on page 249. In a normal vision, where the eye does not have any problem, the light from the object meet at the retina. While that with such sightedness, the light meet before the retina. You can see what is happening with the light. Is that clear? Perfect. These are the causes of short-sightedness. I want you to list these ones. Causes of short-sightedness. Number one, increased size of the eyeball. The eyeball is bigger than normal. Weakness of eye muscles. The muscles of the eyes are a bit weak. And insufficient supply of blood to the eyes. Insufficient supply of blood to the eyes. Now, how can we correct short-sightedness? Write that one down. How can we correct short-sightedness? This defect can be corrected using a concave or diverging lens. A concave or diverging lens. This will make the light rays from the object go far away and meet at the retina. Is that clear? Perfect. Now you can see the concave lens in that correction. Number two, the second eye defect is long sightedness or hypermetropia. Long sightedness or hypermetropia. I'm going to spell hypermetropia. H Y P E 
R M E T R O P I A hypermetropia or long sightedness this is where you can see distant objects clearly but not near objects you can see them without blood vision my friend you can see things that are very far away but not near the following are some causes of long sightedness number 1 when the cornea is less curved when the cornea is less curved number 2 decreased size of the eyeball that means the eyeball is small in size then number 3 lack of enough elasticity by the ciliary muscles in the eye we have what we call the ciliary muscles when it is not elastic it cannot extend it cannot expand and contract in the right way that one can also cause long sightedness then number 4 insufficient supply of blood to the eyes insufficient supply of blood to the eyes you can see what is happening in the diagrams now correction how can we correct long sightedness my friends this defect can be corrected by using a convex lens or converging lens convex c o n v e x convex a convex lens is called converging lens this will make the light meet at the retina can you see all these in the diagrams good now the third defect is called presbyopia presbyopia p r e s b y o p i a presbyopia presbyopia is a progressive form of long sightedness a progressive form of long sightedness it affects most people by their early 60s people at from early 60s once you have reached there most of people find that the near point gradually get lost it diminishes when things are very close they cannot see it properly that is the reason why sometimes you see older people they don't see most of the things that are closer as they are approaching closer they don't, don't see them but can see those things that are very far you get that let us see the cause and cure it arises due to the gradual weakening of the eye muscles it arises due to the gradual weakening of the eye muscles simple reading eye glasses with convex lenses correct most cases of presbyopia presbyopia is corrected by simply using reading eye glasses that's the reason why sometimes you see older people from 60 years are using most of the times glasses reading glasses sometimes a person may suffer from both myopia and hypermetropia my friends sometimes somebody may be suffering from myopia and hypermetropia such people often require bifocal lenses bifocal lenses why by bifocal lenses in the bifocal lens the upper portion of the bifocal lens is a concave lens used for distant vision the lower part of the bifocal lens is a convex lens used for reading purposes do you understand great you have ever seen people with lenses or with glasses sometimes they pull it up sometimes they pull it down those ones are by concave lenses they are lenses 
that are having both sides. Do you understand? Perfect. The fourth eye defect is the astigmatism. Astigmatism. A S T I G M A T I S M. Astigmatism. In astigmatism, my friends, a person cannot simultaneously focus on both horizontal and vertical objects. Uh -huh. A person cannot simultaneously focus on both horizontal and vertical objects. Those things that are standing upright and at the same time those ones that are going across. This defect is usually due to the cornea that is not perfectly sub Spherical. This defect is usually due to the cornea that is not perfectly spherical. When the cornea is not spherical enough, then it becomes a problem. Correction. This defect can be corrected using eyeglasses with cylindrical lenses. We use eyeglasses with cylindrical lenses. Is that correct? Good. Let us now see the prevention of eye defects. How can we prevent the eye defects? To prevent eye defects, these are some of the things that we need to do. Number one, uh -huh. eat a healthy diet that includes fruits and green leafy vegetables. Eat a healthy diet which includes fruits and green leafy vegetables. Number two, avoid smoking. My friends, avoid smoking if you want to maintain your eyesight. Number three, when you are outdoors, wear sunglasses that block sun's harmful ultraviolet rays. Uh -huh. Ultraviolet rays, that means a lot of rays getting into your eyes. So sometimes when you are outdoors and the sun is so hot, so dry and so bright, when you put on some glasses that reduce the rays, will be very, very good. Number four, keep at least a distance of 25 centimeters when you are reading and watching TV. Don't move closer to the TV. The light that is always from the TV is always harmful, my friend. They are always harmful. So keep at least a distance of 25 centimeters, 25 and beyond, 25 centimeters, when you are reading and watching what? TV. Then number five, have a regular checkup of your eyes by an eye doctor. We call them opticians. Have a regular checkup of your eyes by an eye doctor. We call them opticians. O P T I C I A N S. Opticians. We have said have a regular checkup of your eyes by an eye doctor or an optician. Is that clear? Wonderful. In your homework, my friends, you will draw all the eye defects in your notebooks. You will draw all the eye defects and their corrections in your homebook. And your notebooks should show the defects and their corrections. Is that clear? Very, very fine. Till we meet in the next lesson, goodbye. Goodbye, 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 teacher. Goodbye, children. See you next time. Goodbye, 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 teacher. Goodbye, children. See you next time.